Hi, my name is Marlon Wilson, and I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, before I go into this lesson, I want to make sure that you uh, know to go ahead and like and follow the Gospel Truth page, and go over to YouTube and subscribe there. With that said, um, sometimes as we read the Bible, some of the passages can be confusing, especially considering whatever version of the Bible you're reading. In this particular case, I want to go over Genesis chapter 3, verse 5. Genesis chapter 3, verse 5, in the King James Version rendering reads as, For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. The context of this verse is that Satan is tempting Eve in order to eat the food to get her to disobey God. So, does this Bible verse teach that there are multiple gods, or does this Bible verse teach that there is one and true and living God? Let's find out. Within the context, we, we see that God is referred to as Elohim. Uh, the biblical language or the Hebrew language, the original language of the verse is Hebrew. And that word God is referred to as Elohim. Elohim is sometimes used in a plural nature. Um, and this plural nature can sometimes cause confusion. Hence the reason that the verse in the King James Version of the Bible is referred to as, as indicating God's plural. Uh, Elohim either can point to the Trinity or in other aspects, it can also point to angels. Um, uh, angels are sometimes referred to as sons of God. So in a particular case, it could be pointing to either the Trinity or it can be pointing to a council of angels that are surrounding the throne of God. Um, and so that's why you see the plurality there. But what is the point of this verse? Is, this, is the point of the verse teaching that, uh, that Adam and Eve can become gods and we all can become a god? Uh, teaching once again that the idea of a a plurality of gods, a bunch of different gods. Um, I don't think so. Um, I'm convinced that this biblical text is teaching that uh, that Adam and Eve did not become gods or not growing to be God. The idea is that Adam and Eve have grown closer to the knowledge that God has in that because they sinned and because, because they sinned, they now have the ability to understand the moral nature upon which they, the law they broke, uh, have the moral understanding of good and evil. So the whole idea is not that there are multiple gods, as we went through the correct rendering in the verse, uh, Elohim pointing to either the Trinity or it's pointing to the multiple angels around the courts of God, around the throne of God. Uh, so it's not teaching that there are multiple gods out there. And also, um, the idea of Adam, Adam and Eve becoming a god uh, is not even an idea in the verse either. The actual understanding is that because they sin, they now have some of the knowledge that comes to the understanding of good and evil, the moral culpability of their, their, their sinfulness. They come to the understanding of this. Um, so that in itself, uh, mentally, or the understanding has drawn them closer to God or the understanding that God may have that they did not have before. Um, so with that said, I hope this brings clarification to Genesis chapter 3 verse 5. Um, once again, go ahead and like and follow the Gospel Truth on my Facebook page and on YouTube. And also look out for future events that I have coming up. I want to thank you for joining me this time and I pray that you'll be blessed. Take care and have a wonderful day. God bless.